Hello everyone and welcome to 2024. It is the new year and in this video I'm going to go through my best purchases of 2023. So we have everything from lightning <laughs> to uh, selfie sticks to apps to perfume to clothing items to shoes. Let's start off with perfume because this year or last year was one of the years where I really really got super interested in perfumes and that is probably because I found my signature perfume. I've already talked about this so much I'm not gonna do that again but it is the Vanilla Woods from the Seven Virtues. This is a 100% vegan brand. This is the best vanilla scent. It's amazing. Everybody loves it and something that I would really recommend you guys to do if you find a favorite perfume of yours get it in one of these rollers because I have this with me everywhere I go and it's just the best thing ever like I can always just freshen up and smell good and I absolutely love that and then the second perfume that I've been completely obsessed with is the turmeric latte from Lush Lush's perfumes you guys not all of them but you once in a while it just they just launch a scent that is out of this world and this is one of those it smells like i'm in a bakery and uh, i love it <laughs> i don't think that this is going to be a scent that i have during the summer but for winter time or fall and stuff an amazing amazing scent it smells like caramel cinnamon bun if you can find this i'm actually in the lookout for the big size because i don't know how to live without this right now but yeah if you find it go ahead and at least smell it but you, i'm pretty sure that you guys will love it then let's go on to hair and the first thing and the the item that has really changed my life <laughs> and that sounds uh like a lot for a satin bonnet <laughs> but honestly my hair has never been shinier and waking up with shiny like good looking hair it's not something that I'm used to, but now with my satin bonnet, this is the best thing ever. And this is a big tip <laughs> if you have bangs, um, at least bangs like me. I put it, like I have the long hair in here, of course, but I just let it sit like this. It just makes sure <laughs> that the bangs always lays perfectly and yeah. I'm obsessed with this. By the way, I will have everything that I'm talking about linked down below. Um, and this is from Amazon and it comes in two. And out of everything that I'm showing you in this video, I think this is the one that I want to recommend the most. It makes the biggest difference. Then another uh, Lush product is the Super Milk Conditioning Hair Primer. It has went viral on pretty much all social medias and it's because of the scent. I'm not really sure how much it conditions, conditions? your hair but the smell of this is oh my god i just want to use this as a perfume honestly and this lasts in your hair like it's a i wouldn't even say it's a hair primer thing it's more like a hair perfume it's amazing also go smell it <laughs> and the last hair product is a hair mask that i've been completely obsessed with i love hair masks deep conditioners just makes the biggest difference. I love going out of this shower and just feeling like my hair is just smooth <laughs> and this really does that. It is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Intense Moisture Mask from the Body Shop. It also smells insane. Oh it smells so so good. Like all of the uh, scents that I've been talking about right now they go so well together. This <sighs> hair mask together with the super milk hair primer and then the uh, lush turmeric latte that is how i've been smelling the whole december and i've gotten so many people saying that i smell yummy because i do <laughs> then the only skincare product is the vegan kombucha tea essence from dr shirkle this is a tea essence or is it essence skin essence that you just use like this it's like a watery thing you just 
put a little bit on your hands like this and then you just pat it all over your face and this gives not only amazing glow but it's like a skin it's like a moisturizing serum but it's super lightweight and i absolutely love that and i love not feeling greasy and not having like a lot of thick layers on my skin this is so so good should we go on to makeup perhaps house labs foundation and concealer this is the only concealer and foundation that i've used ever since i got it and i did a first impression on this and i don't know was it in like october or something ever since then it's the only two products that i've been using i have it on today of course and my skin just looks flawless although i have the wrong uh color which you might see yeah i'm way paler here than i am on my face but you know you know i live in sweden and it's not available in sweden i got it when i was in la so therefore i can't get my right color match i just have to include these because they are new colors they're the milk um sculpt stick and bronzer the bronzer is called dazed and the sculpt stick is toasted so it's two new uh, this is a new product and this is a new shade and it's the lightest of the um, lightest colors that they have and they work perfectly for me and I absolutely love them. The best mascara of 2023 goes to Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Lash Sculpt Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. This is my second one and I love it. I have it on today but I do have some lashes on as well. I have some cluster lashes that is also a favorite of mine. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Lash Extension Clusters. So these come in like small little cluster lashes yeah <laughs> and i only put three here in the outer corner and then i cut two of them and put on the bottom side and that is how i've been wearing my lashes lately when i'm wearing false lashes but i haven't really used false lashes that much this year honestly just because this mascara is so darn good i've had a problem where my lashes won't really hold the bend but this mascara does that and i love it so much then as you guys have seen probably i mean every single year i'm lip product crazy but this year has been something else and i've been completely obsessed with lip tints this is an amazing lip tint from the body shop it's the sheer touch lip and cheek tint in feel as you guys can see it's just the most amazing color i absolutely love this one but for other products that i've been loving a little bit more than that even though i love it is rare beauties lip tints these are the tinted lip oils uh and i have it in four shades although i have which is it? this one shade the light that i have on my lips today and it is my favorite color of all time it's the first one that i bought and then I, when i was in la i bought three other ones these are amazing not only is it a lip tint so it lasts the entire day but when you first apply it it's a lip oil we can't have a best off video without me talking about some lip glosses this is the fenty beauty heat in gloss bomb or no fenty glow that's right <laughs> this is an amazing amazing lip gloss i have every single shade of fenty uh, beauty's regular lip glosses but this is in the, a heat line <laughs> heat series and uh, why it's called heat is because it makes your lips tingle and kind of hurt <laughs> and i've been absolutely hating on these sorts of products before but now when i've removed my lip fillers <laughs> i just feel like i don't know i like having them a bit plump and uh, irritated <laughs> and therefore plump because that's what plumps then it irritates the skin and makes it hurt now when i think about it i don't know 
I would much rather go in with one of these. <laughs> these are Loud Cosmetics Gloss and Go Glosses. My best friend is the owner of Loud Cosmetics and she has made all of these glosses and they were launched I think in December but I've been trying them out for an entire year together with her and these are such an amazing amazing lip color selection and if I would choose two favorite ones it's probably the brown one because I think it looks so cute with my hair and this is called Jess I Did and then I absolutely love the more cool toned one. It's called Confident. This shade called Millionaire though is the best seller right now and it looks absolutely insane. Now let's go on to my favorite purchase of 2023. Probably of all things, you know, except for the satin bonnet, but you know, this is a bigger thing. <laughs> and that is my iPad. Yes, that's right. I'm gonna include my iPad. <laughs> I got the iPad Pro, I think this is like 13 inches wide, mostly because as you guys know, I started as a tattoo apprentice this year, which is also a favorite thing of mine, but it's not a purchase. So except for, you know, the thousands of things that I had to buy as an apprentice. I do not only draw on this, but I do draw. <laughs> so of course, Procreate is one of my best purchases of 2023. Here is a few of my flashes if you live in Stockholm and if you wanted to fall at me because I have just opened up my schedule. We're taking up clients and i'm so excited about it so i've been drawing you know it's really cozy to just like blah 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 draw sit and draw yeah <laughs> yeah i also have been starting to do my thumbnails here on procreate and the next one is good notes i have been starting to take all of my notes and schedule my weekdays on good notes and this is from happy downloads i bought one of their digital planners i will link everything as i said down below and now just because i always need my ipad when going to the studio it's just very easy to have the schedule in here so last year i really gave it a chance to do some digital planning and it's been going great and i absolutely love my ipad i do not go anywhere without this two other things that just makes my life as an influencer way easier is one of these lamps that you can bring with you let me just turn up the light you know this is a you know a, a lamp that you can bring with you you can put it on your phone like uh, this and you can take photos or videos and then we have my tripod for when i'm on the go this is just a small little thing that you can have in your bag um you can have it like this you can also make it longer if you'd like as you guys can see so it's for your phone you just put your phone like that and you can take photos with this little handy thing okay sorry about it it needs charging but you can take photos while just pushing this button so you can take uh, photos wherever you are. This is an amazing little gadget and I love it so much. And ever since I got it, my life has just been 10 times easier. Okay, next up we have clothes and shoes. These are my, what are these called? Camo shoes, something like that from Demonia. Um, okay, I've obviously used these so they're kind of dirty underneath here, so excuse that. But these are my Demonia shoes. I've been wanting these for so... Ouch, that lit hit my eye. I've been wanting these for so many years and I finally got them. And they are even more cute than I ever thought in real life. I haven't used them a lot because we have like minus 15 right now in Sweden and it's slippery <laughs> so i can't fully really use these but i'm actually going to london in a few days and i'm gonna bring those with me and i'm just gonna scroll stroll around on the streets of london and look really cute then you guys i am a leggings girl <laughs> i was gonna say something else i live 
in leggings all day, every day. I feel so cute in leggings and it's so comfortable and I finally found the best pair of leggings. Like there is no other and I'm not kidding when I say I use this every single day. I love them so much. And my other set, when I don't use those leggings, this is what I use. <laughs> Whoops. This is my Juicy Couture set. <laughs> I have this one and I also have the matching top. I did buy both of these on a secondhand store uh, called Selfie that is available here in Sweden. So you can for sure get yourself a Juicy Couture set secondhand if you look out for it. I just bought this as a little silly kind of thing. Like I'm just gonna have these at home. It's gonna be fun. But these are so comfortable that it's now my personality. I wear these <laughs> all the time. Like at the studio, I don't think that they've ever seen me in anything <laughs> else than these. Cute. I've actually bought myself a pink set that will probably be here in a few days. <sighs> Next up, you guys, my Nintendo Switch. This is not a purchase that I did last year, obviously. The little cute um, skin is from last year, though, and it's so, so cute. And I have these little, um, cute little widgets. I don't know what to call them. But what I wanted to let you guys know that I did buy last year. Once again, it's just gonna load a little bit fire fucking emblem i just saw some random tiktok saying that this is like the best game on the nintendo switch so i bought it on the nintendo e store thinking that i can just have this i don't know maybe i was sick or something and just needed something for a few days and this is the best this is the best or can i say that it's my top three <laughs> And it must be the um, uh, three houses. Yeah, I do have the Fire Emblem Engage as well that I bought after I had played this. But it's not the same. For those of you that have played three houses, you know. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and see, give you guys a little sneak peek of what's going on. <laughs> I don't know, I can't show you guys, but yeah. Felix was, I'm simping over Felix for sure. I love him and he says he loves me in the end. <laughs> no, but it's an amazing, amazing game and it really is so good with the storyline. Like you get sucked into the um, storyline so, so good. I could just spend hours walking around talking to people and that is pretty much it. I did want to include my <laughs> tattoos that I bought last year. Because, you know, tattoos is something that you buy, right? I have my Haku tattoo. I am obsessed with this. Having something on your stomach is so sexy. <laughs> and it goes all the way down. So I absolutely love this one. I'm not sure when I finished my sleeve though. If I finished this last year, then that is also a favorite of mine. How can I even show you guys this? I don't want to show you my butt crack. But yeah, that is my other favorite tattoo of 2023 it's pochita from chainsaw man and she's so cute and i love her and both of the tattoos are made by victoria that is also my senpai as a tattoo apprentice i think that is pretty much it sorry about it becoming quite a lot of things even though i didn't think that they would be I will of course have everything linked or at least listed down below in the info box so you can find anything or everything super easily. Also, I would love to know what your best purchase of 2023 were. <laughs> also, like this video if you enjoyed and get excited for the content of 2024. I have so many new hair dyes like laying right there and i'm so excited so get excited for that and of course more makeup stuff nail stuff tattoo content and all of that have a wonderful day and hopefully we will see each other in the next video bye guys